All right, good morning, everybody. We're gonna start um, with some mobility, some chair mobility this morning. So we'll go ahead and take a nice comfy seat in a chair that doesn't roll around. Um, we're gonna kind of scoot the edge a little bit. You wanna cross one ankle over your knee, nice little figure four stretch. Uh, so we're just gonna get a nice gentle lean forward, kind of work to um, open our hips and glutes. We'll just kind of roll that around a little bit, find some tension and hold. Kind of analyze how our hips are sitting. If these last couple of days, if you typically sit uh, on your foot or um, with your hips uneven, this will be a kind of a good indicator of how uneven you may sit. And so as that tension starts to loosen up, you can kind of roll around, find another spot and sit and hold, loosen that up. Usually that stretch in a few different directions. That really helps. So we'll start things nice and slowly this morning. Get you into it now for Still adjusting to that time change or not. All right, we'll hold it here about 20 more seconds. Again, if there's a third spot you want to move to, you can move to that one. Then we'll go ahead and gently lean up out of that. We will switch legs to the other side. I will do the same idea. I'm kind of gently pressing down on the knee with my other arm um, just to kind of get a little bit more rotation into that hip. Totally optional. And I'm barely putting any pressure on that. But as always, kind of feel what you need. Give yourself the attention that um, will benefit you. Don't always have to do exactly what I'm doing, just more of a guideline. So again, we're kind of moving that torso around and getting a little lean, finding a spot where it's like, ooh, there's some tightness, some tension right there. I'm going to sit and hold on that. And typically, the longer that we hold on something, the more it will release and relax. If you ever do find something that's like really tight and you hold it for like a really long time and doesn't do anything, that could be a good indication of some problems. So whether we need a more effective stretch or there's something else going on, um, if it's painful, that's a good indication that something really is going on. I need to get that checked out. Yeah, we'll hold here about 20 more seconds. If you have another spot you want to sit and hold on, go ahead and switch to another angle. Definitely feel the sides a, a bit looser. So my, my range of motion is a lot more increased. I feel like slowly sinking down to the ground the longer we hold this, which is good. That's what we're looking for. That's how we mobilize. And we'll go ahead and come up out of that. All right, we're going to transition down to the ground. We're going to keep that chair. Don't let that go too far. Um, if uh, we're going to kind of be kneeling a little bit here, so if you do need a towel or a pillow or something to put down, um, you can grab that. Otherwise, we're going to take our forearm here. We're going to put that on the edge of the chair. Um, and we're going to uh, put your other arm down on the ground, kind of like your old fours, with one arm propped up. And all we're going to do is going to work to open the chest in the front of the shoulder here. So if you've been doing a lot, a lot of push-ups these last few weeks um, or anything in that front of the body there, it's a great opener. Um, so again, forearm on the edge of the chair. And we're going to kind of pull with this down arm and kind of lift with this back arm. Now rotate open that front of the shoulder, in front of that chest. So 
So creating space in there. I'm going to turn that head away to kind of help with that rotation. Again, you can certainly dip down and rotate as much as you feel comfortable where you feel that stretch. We don't necessarily want to overdo it. But we want to get to a point where we do start feel that do start to feel that stretch. And then again, just kind of hold there. And once that kind of loosens up a little bit, we can deepen that stretch and so on and so forth. So this one we're going to do just a little bit differently than that seated figure four stretch. We're going to hold here for about a minute and then we're going to put some dynamics into it. So we'll hold here a few more seconds. We're going to deepen that stretch. And again, to add some dynamics here, we're going to kind of just release that tension. We're going to kind of rotate into that arm and slowly pull away. I'm going to hold that for about a two second hold and I kind of go back and forth through it. So we're kind of loosening that tension and again, stretching out that tension, just kind of working to push where that end range of motion is. Not really push it, I guess, more just kind of test where it is. So I'll just do about four or five of those and a good couple second hold at the end of each. And you go one more time here. And we'll relax there. Um, I'm going to do everything on this side first um, and then I'll move the chair over. So. Our second move is going to be uh, the back of our elbow on the head, uh, facing the chair here, edge of the elbow here. And kind of same deal, we'll put that other arm down. And we're going to work to reach that head down underneath that elbow, almost kind of like a, uh, like a child's pose, kind of working to sit those hips back. It's a good stretch for the lat, kind of that whole uh, side underneath the arm. So we're not going to be doing too much here. Again, we're just going to be working to relax into that stretch. You can sit those hips back again to kind of increase the length on that stretch, but we're not going to be doing a whole lot of moving on this one. And we don't get a whole lot of pulling exercises, but uh, more often than not, our uh, our lats are going to be tight from that from that uh, forward head, round shoulders posture that we sit in a lot. So today's goal goal is kind of uh, countering all of those. If you can't quite get your head all the way down, um, make sure that we're like almost as close to the edge of that chair where you're still on your elbow. We're not going to get our whole back of the arm up on the chair. Um, unless for whatever reason you just have really long upper arms or like a really short neck. But uh, yeah, typically you'll be able to get in this position. You're going to hold it here for a couple more seconds. And we'll go ahead and relax out of there. Um, same thing to the other arm, and then we'll go back for that chest opener on the other side. So again, back of the elbow on the other arm, sticking that head down, dropping those hips back. That arm upwards is going to want to rotate down. I want you to kind of work to keep that hand going straight up. Just try Try to keep a little bit of that external rotation happening. And again, really work to relax into that stretch. Take a nice minute to kind of scan that body where we're holding our attention, where we're offering resistance to that stretch. Just try to relax. You're safe here. Hold here about 20 more seconds. And 
Hell relax that by that. Alright, we're gonna go back to that chest opener. I'm gonna move the chair to the other side. Uh, again, forearm to the edge of the chair. We're gonna drop down and we're gonna kind of work to open up that chest from the shoulder. Just on the other side now. So again, we just worked all of our lat kind of under the armpit here. Now we're going to continue that around to the front of the chest, front of the shoulder. So we do want to make sure that, excuse me, that upper arm stays um, pretty in line with those shoulders. All right, we're not like reaching forward um, or getting that arm too far backwards. We're going to make sure that's staying pretty much right out to the side. We have to make some small adjustments uh, to make sure that we're getting that stretch in the right place. So uh, just be very conscious, very aware of where that tension is and what we're working to stretch out. And with most of the stretching that we do here, we never want to force ourselves into positions. I just want to listen to what that body is telling you, saying, oh, this is a little tight. We're good right here. And it should start to loosen up the longer that you hold it. If it's not, again, there's a good chance that something else may be going wrong. Maybe trying to push something that is not going to move, um, like a tendon or something. So avoid putting stress on uh, or extra stress on things that won't be able to hold it. We'll go ahead and loosen up out of that. We're going to do some of that kind of dynamic mobility here, uh, kind of loosen that, that tension, and then gently pull through that range of motion. Hold just for a second at the end just to find where that limit is, and release it and come back up. And we'll do about four, five, six of these, gentle through that range of motion. And a good rotation through that opposite way. And some some snaps in our, in our back here. It's a good thoracic rotation exercise at the same time. We'll go one more here. All right, we'll come up out of that. So uh, move on to a little bit of hamstring work. So hopefully your uh, your balance isn't too bad this morning. We'll go ahead and prop up one leg on the chair, the ever so famous hamstring stretch here. Um, <clears throat> all we're going to do is use that elevation, going to help us lean into that, stretching that hamstring. If you can, um, or if you want to, grab that chair for balance. If you can, uh, we're going to work to hang out here just a minute. We don't have to do anything with the ankle uh, unless you really want to. If you want to pull back on that foot and kind of stretch out the back of the calf at the same time by all means go for it um but hamstring main focus here so we'll just work on that um so what we're looking for here is getting that leg to be fully extended um, through that knee all right don't uh, don't overextend to where that pressure on the uh, the knee is is too great uh, we want to maintain all that pressure on the back of the leg, back of the hamstring here. Um, so if we need to keep a very slight bend into that knee, we can. Otherwise, working on a hinge through that hip, all right, not just folding down right here because we're not getting much of a stretch. Your hamstring connects right here at the low of the back just above your hip. So we're going to be working to kind of extend through that area. Pulls on that attachment of the hamstring, stretches the hamstring out. So, keeping that hinge on that hip. Again, this is a very good one to just kind of sit and hold into. If for whatever reason you have a personal goal of your sit and reach, this is a it's a good one to do. Kind of in that sit and reach position. But you're working on kind of single leg mobility. It's 
So we'll here, hold here about 10 more seconds on this leg, and then we'll move to the other one. Get a good test when we do kind of single side here. Um, kind of tells you a lot about your day-to-day -day posture, the way you sit, um, the way you move. If one side is, is noticeably tighter or more restrictive than the other, um, which you can just give you like, like this side, I can't quite reach my toe with my, with my left hand. Um, also, because I just stretched out the other side a lot. So we'll see if at the end of this hold, um, if I can get there. But yeah, I always like to see, uh, you never think that you're that imbalanced, but then you'll stretch out one side and you're like, go to the other side, try to do the same thing. And you're like, wow, I am pretty unbalanced. Again, I want to reiterate that the pain or the uh, stretching should not be painful. Um, should feel some resistance, but it should be kind of a, um, I guess, a hurt so good kind of situation. So can't can't quite get there with that left hand, but we're definitely feeling a bit better. I'm gonna hold here about ten more seconds. Push our right, chair to the side for a minute. We're gonna do uh, kind of one last thing here with some uh, a little bit more dynamic mobility. So we're in a, another hamstrings, hips, and everything nice and loose. We're gonna kind of find the bottom of our squat, a good deep squat here. Uh, kind of pushing those knees out. We're gonna sit here for just a second. Um, see if we can kind of get that upright posture. Sitting deep into it, kind of driving those knees out with those elbows. I'm going to sit here for just a second, kind of get acquainted with this deep squat position. And then we'll go ahead and stand it up. I'll we'll do it one more time again. Just try to sit back and sit down into that deep squat, relatively unassisted, however deep that may be. And we'll stand it up. Then we're going to drop down to our all fours kind of plank position here. And we're going to kind of dynamically get into the bottom of that squat. So we're going to get a nice runner's lunge, kind of front step. Kind of feel that out for just a second. We're going to bring that other foot forward. And there's the bottom of that deep squat. And we're just going to reverse that back and forth a couple times. Stepping back with one leg. Stepping back with the other. And again, reverse. Um, kind of take your time, your own pace through this. One step forward, the other step forward into that deep squat. One step back, the other step back and reverse. We'll do this about two more times. Finish up here. Hang out any of those positions a little bit longer as you may need. Now we'll go one more time. To finish it up, just a little activation to get you ready for your day. And then we are all set.